here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to New Day Northwest. We begin with beloved writer Jane Austen's most famous love story, as it's never been seen before. Austen's Pride is the 21st new musical produced by Seattle's Fifth Avenue Theater, and it is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice. Here with a first look is Olivia Hernandez as Elizabeth Bennett. of similar mind, his character strong and refined, and his reputation, whatever his station, must be generous, truthful, and kind. Fate will play a part if love should be So fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thanks, so Papa. You know this man, Clifton Davis, is joining us now. He is Mr. Bennett in this story. What is this like to do something that uh, no audience has ever seen before? Well, first of all, it's very exciting for me to do uh, a fresh uh, interpretation of Mr. Bennett with so many other wonderful actors who've played it before, Indeed. like Donald Sutherland, like uh, Edmund Gwynn in mm -hmm. the original. Um, I'd like to bring some of what they brought and then add a freshness to it. What's the freshness? What's the difference? Well, first of all, he's a kind it's, man it's and diverse. He loves his daughters. He's a gentleman. He's uh, a little sarcastic with his humor. <laughs> he's got, a, he's got a, a certain love for his daughters that is masked by fear. And so it's an interesting uh, role for me. And I'm having a great time because I'm working with incredibly talented people like oh. Olivia and uh, and the entire cast. It's so what a wonderful cast. It is, and I, it is so good to have you here Thank and you. also to ask about the other cast members. And we have some photos to kind of remind us of, not that you need reminding, <laughs> remind us of some of the other characters in the story. And last but not least in this section will be Mr. Darcy. But please, walk us through these photos. Yes. Uh, uh, do you want to start with Mr. Stephen Darcy? Good. Stephen Good. There we Good. go. So Stephen Good plays um, Mr. Darcy. He just came off of the tour of Waitress, for those uh, who have seen that show Which before. Is one of my favorite movies, and I want to see the show. Yes, yeah. Um, that's Laura Michelle Kelly. She's Yay. our star. She's wonderful. <laughs> She's amazing. Plays Jane Austen. She originated Mary Poppins on the West End um, and Sylvia on Broadway in Finding Neverland. There's Stephen Good again. Looking very Mr. Darcy there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very dashing. <laughs> and again. Yes. <laughs> At he Pemberley, that's his home. He brings such a <laughs> wonderful <clears throat> maturity and sensibility to the role. Uh, strength and, 
and just gr a great performance, wonderful actors. It's just refreshing for me to work with such a great company of actors. It just is a lovely thing. You mentioned also the diversity of the story. Tell me more about that and what that means to the people who are playing these parts. Do you want to address diversity? Sure. <laughs> um, well, I think, you know, we're two people of color sitting here that are in this show, um, which is special because I think, you know, these old stories, um, I think it's, it's an interesting idea to have um, people that have not always been necessarily represented in, um, in Jane Austen stories or just in stories from that era. Uh, so there are the two of us. We have um, two of the Bennett sisters are um, Asian American actresses. Uh, and who else? We have some some people in our ensemble that are of, um, mm -hmm. of different biracial. ethnicities. Yeah, we have actually a lot of biracial people in this cast, which is fun. I myself, I'm half Mexican. Um, so it's, it's something that actually a lot of us have connected on and, and talked a lot about in this process. I love it as an audience member because it means that kids of, of all sorts can come to the show and see themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, on the stage. They can see themselves perhaps as a performer or a character in the show. And it, each of us brings a certain flavor of our culture into this environment. And it brings out just, it's, it's like a, a, a wonderful gem that is, has been shown light that in a prism shines beams everywhere. It's just a wonderful, a wonderful evening of theater. I love it. You, we have known you from everything from Amen, yeah. um, decades ago through Madam Secretary. Five years here on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty special. It was indeed. Do you, is stage first love? It was my first love. I, I did my first Broadway show more than 50 years ago. Good grief. Yes. When you were two. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but only six months after he saw his first Broadway show, right? That's right. Isn't that something? Tell me. Well, I saw Apple Tree with Alan Alda and Barbara Harris, and I said, I've got to be a part of this industry. I, I must try this. And so I studied, and I looked, and I hunted, and I read the trades, and I did uh, a little children's theater, and next thing I knew, I was on Broadway in Harold Dolly. Amazing! <laughs> That's amazing. Olivia, how did you get started in musical theater? Uh, I started playing piano, and a piano teacher of mine told my parents, just based on the way I was playing piano, she said, she's a singer. And my parents said, how do you know that? She's <laughs> not singing for you. Um, and she just said, I can tell by the way she phrases piano. And so she encouraged me to join a children's theater in my town, and it was kind of like love at first note, love at first sight yeah. with musical theater. Um, and then I went on to go to the University of Michigan to major in musical theater. Um, and it's just kind of been one thing has led to another until I find myself at the Fifth Avenue Theater doing a new show. It's kind of, I'm pinching myself. Um, it's kind of crazy. Pretty good history of launching shows and creating new things. Well, well and I remember, so I remember special. being in college and learning about the, out, the concept of the out-of-town tryout and about the Fifth Avenue being one of the major places in this country to start a musical, um, a musical bound for Broadway. And I honestly, I, I came here actually after my freshman year of college and I saw the Catch Me If You Can out-of-town tryout mm -hmm. at the Fifth. Um, fell in love with the theater itself and, and kind of thought like, I, I don't even think I thought to myself I'll ever work here. I, and suddenly it's like I, I am finding myself here. It's such yeah. a, a full circle experience. Isn't that something? The breadcrumbs led you right back yes. and we're so glad that they did. Thank you both for uh, being here. What a here. great creative team from the lighting director to our director, mm -hmm. <coughs> our choreographer. Everybody is so talented and it's an honor to work with each of them. That's good to hear. I love this story so much. I can't wait to see the show. Thank it's going you to be very special. much. Austin's Pride opens on Friday. It runs through October 27th at Seattle's Fifth Avenue Theater. We'll have more details online. When we come back, what are the original outlaws of American art? Artist Robert Williams is here with a look at his new exhibit in Bellevue after this.